Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be watching the finals attack and defend game mode reveal, which is happening in about two minutes, I think. Uh, it's currently 57 minutes past, so this is going to go out on, on the hour. Um, and this is just the attack and defend game mode. I'd imagine this is going to be something similar to like CSGO or Rainbow Six um, or something like that. I'd say there's probably going to be a bomb. Um, or something you have to defuse anyway, maybe it's like a cash out, um, or their own spin on it or something. But I think you're probably going to have to, like, attack the bomb, uh, if you're on the attacking team, and defend the bomb if you're on the defending team. It looks like it's five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, yeah. Looks like it's gonna be a 5v5 game mode, similar to Power Shift. Uh, be interesting to see if Power Shift's gonna be taken out for this, um, because if not, then there's gonna be a lot of game modes at the same time, um, but hey, maybe they'll like take something else out. Or maybe they'll just keep everything in. Maybe they have enough players. I don't really know. But this should be starting soon, so I'll skip to when that happens. Mm. Here we go. It's starting. Oh, it's a countdown. And it's starting in 50 seconds. There you go. By the power of editing, I shall skip to when this actually starts. There's lots of colors, though, but that's okay. No, oh, we got a little countdown at all. That's pretty cool. Okay, the hype is real. It must be something to do with that box in the background. Okay, alright. So, supposedly, the in-game lore is like, CNS has made this game mode. Oh! I mean, I guess, like, I, I shouldn't be surprised by that. That's how Rainbow Six works as well. Are they carrying something there? Oh, it said something. Wait, hold on. I'll watch this back in a second. You only have one life. That's really interesting. Best of seven rounds. Okay. I think this game mode's gonna do pretty well. I think. Yeah, no reviving and no healing is kind of mad as well. I think medium's gonna be completely useless. I think this is going to be everyone plays heavy. I don't see why you would play light, and I really don't see why you would play medium if you can't defib. I, I just don't see the point, but I'm gonna refresh this and probably uh, rewind it now. So I'll rewind this here, and I'll go back to where it says decryption key. So I guess you have to decrypt the terminal if you're attacking, and that's like this game's way of like diffusing it. Um, and if you're defending, then you just have to stop them from decrypting the terminal. And I guess that's going to be the whole game mode, but ha only having one life is kind of insane. I think there's going to be a lot of lights. I mean, a lot of heavies. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be playing light unless they're just throwing, and I don't think anyone's going to be playing medium either. Like, if you can't defib, and if you can't use the healing beam, that's like the entire point of the medium gun. Like, yeah, sure, you have the FCAR, but that's not why you play medium. You play medium for the healing beam and for the defib. Um, so that's kind of insane. So I think it's just gonna be a whole lot of heavies running around with Lewis guns, M60s, and flamethrowers. I think that's what's gonna happen here. But only one life is very interesting. Because as a heavy, sometimes you kind of just like charge into a room get some damage done, and then maybe die yourself, but you also have to not die in this game mode, so maybe movement's going to be important as well. I don't think lights will do very well, though. Um, and there is a light in there, so you can play light. I don't think lights are going to do very well. I think mediums will do okay. They're just not going to have so much of a purpose, because, like, they are the support class. If they can't support, suddenly they're not so useful. So I think this game mode's just going to be a whole lot of heavies running around the map. Um, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. I guess we'll find out. But this looks cool. Season 2, May 2nd. So that's probably in, like, I don't know, whenever the next update is. Like, like I don't know. Whenever the next update is, that's probably when that's going to come out. But May 2nd is what it says there. So that's it for the new game mode. But it looks like it's going to be cool. I think Power Shift was, like, a, a cool idea. And I think it just wasn't fantastic. There was just a whole lot of light snipers around the place. And it was, like, very, very forgiving. If you died, you just had infinite respawn coins and you, you could just coin again and i know a lot of people didn't like the light snipers my view on it is like if you're playing casual 
you don't really have a right to complain about how your teammates are playing because they're just playing for fun. If you want to play seriously, go play ranked, and then you can complain as much as you want about your teammates. But my view on it is, like, if you're playing casual, don't complain about your teammates. But I know, even even though that's what I think, I know a lot of people still didn't like that most people in Power Shift were just, like, light snipers and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like people would play a little bit more seriously in this game mode because you only have one life. Um, I could also just be completely wrong, but I'll probably be playing it when it comes out, so I guess we'll find out then. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Farewell.